everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video with yours truly Mel Mel. I know it's been quite a bit since the last time I uploaded a video. Life kind of got in the way but we are here and back with another cute goodies out of our da -da -da -da, March Kawi box. Of course this one arrived at the beginning of March but I've only gotten to it just now but it's still March so we are still in the clear to go over the goodies inside of this box and they are surely cute. I know you guys are gonna agree with me because I thought they were really adorable and yeah without further ado let's get started on this box shall we here we are with our brochure and the theme of the month which is Ico and the magical rainbow I kind of like it because like like the Irish um, holiday st. Patrick's Day is celebrated during the month of, month of March which we are well aware of and I don't know rainbows kind of like fit the theme plus it's like you know spring showers with like you know bring in those fresh flowers so like rainbows are a lot more um, of a common occurrence so I, I don't know I really dig it and it's also just a kawaii theme to begin with because it's pastel colorful and we love rainbows at least I do they're just so pleasing to look at just all the colors and of course some featured um, people with their unboxings from previous months we love to see it the blurb reads as follows, our Kawi Supergirl Aiko, which is their mascot, is ready to save the day. Hop on the magical rainbow and join her in spreading happiness around in the cutest way. And yeah, lots of cute goodies. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the very first one. The first one inside of the box was none other than this little keychain plushie that they tend to include in the box. Look how adorable this is. Look at this really cute like little star curvy plushie. He has a little like um, kind of like a nighttime cap with the stars and a little fuzzy. He has a little star wand. Cute little Kirby sitting on a crescent moon. We have its uh, official tag right here as well as a little keychain so you can attach it to a bag or on your I don't know belt buckle like little loopy thing uh, on the wall etc and what's even more fitting as I'm sure you guys know Kirby and the Forgotten Land just came out this past Friday for those of you who are like really huge big fan Kirby's uh, wow <laughs> I said that backwards huge fans of Kirby's would love getting some Kirby merch right about now as we love our uh, cute little round uh, pink friend we have not picked up the game yet but we are planning to because Kirby's so cute and it's getting like huge phrase for this game I just thought it was like kind of cute that we got in a uh, Kirby like little plushy keychain during the same month that this Kirby game came out I thought that was a really cute like little coincidence and who knows maybe it was on purpose we um, don't know exactly how they go about the choosing of their items for each month but I approve and this is so so cute up next is the little like treat or like candy they like to include for each box and I am particularly happy about this one because it features one of my favorite franchises as well Pretty Cure we have some uh, pretty cute gummies here and on the front we have cure summer and this cute little like sea uh, sea <laughs> seal uh, fairy kiri rune and yeah these are like these cute little grape uh, flavored gummies and I've tried these gummies before I had purchased them myself off their website and they are very very tasty so I already know I'm gonna enjoy these and they very much fit the magical and rainbowness theme of this month very much approved and I really 
really enjoy that Pretty Cure is getting a lot more traction and we're seeing a lot more goodies of it, especially the Kawaii box. I really, really appreciate the Kawaii box and Blippo as a whole having some Pretty Cure merch and goodies for us to enjoy because they are quite difficult to obtain to the casual uh, person out in the world. <laughs> but yeah, can't wait to snack on these little goodies. Getting into some of the stationary goods, which another reason why I love the Kawaii box in particular, we have up first this really, really adorable washi tape, which I love washi tape. It's easily one of my favorite like journaling, scrapbooking materials to use because they're so decorative and like so pretty. I get like a bunch of like washi tape from the Kawi box from supporting artists online as well as like in store whenever I can find it. Let me take it out of this little uh, container so we can see the design a lot more uh, clearly. I like that they were, went for like a sweet theme. It makes me uh, want sweets. I'm particularly craving a crepe right now. That sounds really delicious to me. Oh, I think it's upside down. But here it is. We have these lovely, all sorts of like strawberry goods right here. And I really, really love this like gold foil here on the washi tape. It gives a nice little shine to it. And it kind of reminds me of like a syrup or an icing which is so, so cute. Cannot wait to use this washi tape. So, so adorable. The next stationary good, or is it? We have some ice cream, but they're not just ice cream. They're ice cream cone highlighters. Aren't they just so, so cute? Look at these beautiful pastel that is almost in all the colors of the rainbow. And this design is so, so cute. They make an excellent addition to the stationery in your um, pouches or on your desk. And like whenever you want to use the highlighter, you're more motivated to, at least I think so in my opinion, when you go to reach for these little cuties. I really, really love their choices of stationery goods, no matter like what it happens to be, because it's all something that like I can use and we really enjoy that about these items and I cannot wait to add this to my highlighters. I have actually have like a newfound appreciation for highlighters right now. I'm easily reaching for them a lot more than um, like markers for example or like sharpies. I don't know. I kind of like the like pastelness of highlighters currently. The next item inside of the box would be kind of stationary kind of just like a cute little thing to like put on your desk but it's a Sumiko Gitarashi good I'm gonna take it out of its wrapper momentarily but it's like this cute little basket it has the Shirokuma which is the bear on the front and inside of the basket is these little uh, notes it's like a miniature little notepad so you can take notes and stick them in here if you need to get inspiration or reminders for things I personally like to write little notes basically everywhere. I like to make tons of lists and things like that. So yeah. So here we go with the really, really cute pink container. And of course, let me take that out momentarily. The little um, handles come up. Oh, <laughs> it had like a little uh, sticky glue right there, which I'll take off later. There it is. You, of course, don't need to stick these little um, papers inside of here. You can put whatever you want. I probably might put like a little miniature figure inside of it or anything like that. For those of you who like to like collect those like <clears throat> miniature like little like accessories or what are they called? They're like all over the place. Like they're so like popular nowadays. They're like little like foods and stuff like that um, brands etc it's kind of crazy like how popular those things are and this little shopping basket will be perfect for like holding those if you want to use them on display however you like and it's just overall just adorable 
that is a common occurring word, but it's true, you know? The very last item inside of this box is a very practical use item that is also like amazingly cute. <laughs> there I go, I use a different word besides adorable. <laughs> but here we go. It is this Ico themed water bottle. And there is Miss Ico herself dressed in like this magical girl. Um, like little outfit kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon like the shirt I'm wearing currently and this design is just so so cute and I don't know I always like the clear um, like water bottle type thing so you could just still see the design perfectly and then like I don't know the aesthetic of water or if you're doing like a like a colored drink in there it shows up nicely against the design of course, the lid unscrews, but is attached to this thing, which is very convenient. And then you have a little filter right here. If you hear a little noise in the background, that is my cats playing with their little uh, toy. <laughs> so that's what that is. But this water bottle is super, super adorable. It is the second water bottle that I've gotten from them, but I feel like we can always use water bottles. And they're so collectible in their own way especially the ones that are like really aesthetically pleasing to look at but this one i think was a lot um larger of volume than the other water bottle which is really nice when you're like out and about and need something and you have a nice little thing to carry around with which makes it convenient as nice and secure and still like small enough to like go in your like purse or canvas bag However you choose, Miss Ico is here to help you keep hydrated, which is very important, especially where I live in Arizona, where hydration is very massive for us. You need to keep hydrated. But I am rambling. And yeah, that was everything inside of this uh, Kawi box for March. What do you guys think? Wouldn't you agree with me that these items were really, really cute? Which ones was your guys' favorite? I particularly loved this water bottle and the Kirby plush. I just like the like the coincidence of it. I don't know. It was like a nice little touch, whether it was planned or not. It worked out. It was super cute. But yeah, bye for now, you guys.